Starship's raptors dominate the headlines, but SpaceX is developing something far smaller that could reshape how Americans think about deep space travel, electrodeless helicon plasma thrusters. These engines don't burn methane. Instead, they generate a focused blue plasma stream powered by radio frequency energy at exactly 13.56 MHz. That's the same regulated industrial frequency used across the US in high-power RF systems. Here's what makes them special. Neutral argon gas enters a quartz or ceramic chamber inside the thruster. When the RF coil energizes, it pumps electromagnetic waves into the gas and transforms it into helicon plasma. This plasma reaches temperatures of tens of thousands of degrees. The exhaust velocity isn't just high, it's extreme. 20 to 50 kilometers per second is achievable. For comparison, a Raptor engine's effective exhaust speed is roughly 3.6 kilometers per second. That's why specific impulse jumps from 350 seconds on chemical propulsion to over 1,500 or even above 3,000 seconds with helicon plasma. In deep space, that kind of efficiency is game-changing. The United States has pushed electric propulsion for decades, but the problem has always been erosion. Traditional ion engines rely on metal grids that wear out. Helicon thrusters don't. They're electrodeless, meaning the plasma never touches a physical electrode. Nothing erodes, nothing burns out, and service life shoots from about 5,000 hours for a typical ion engine to more than 20,000 hours. That's months of continuous thrust, which is exactly what you want on multi-month missions to Mars or long-distance asteroid transfers. SpaceX could install four to eight of these plasma pods around Starship's mid-body. Raptors would still handle liftoff, landing, and major burns. But once Starship is coasting through interplanetary space, these plasma thrusters would take over, providing a steady trickle of acceleration. It's slow, but it never stops. And over weeks and months, that small push can add thousands of meters per second of velocity. That makes long-range missions far more efficient, especially when navigating millions of miles between planets. Argon, the propellant these plasma thrusters use, is extremely cheap in the US, roughly $1 per pound. Even long missions might need only a few dozen pounds, making the fuel cost almost nothing compared to chemical propellant. With this upgrade, Starship could do far more than reach Mars. It could shift across huge orbits, hit multiple targets in one trip, and run long science missions with far less fuel, making deep space operations feel routine for American explorers. Like the video, subscribe to Rocketry, and follow us on Facebook for more spaceflight updates and U.S. space technology breakthroughs.